Today I'm reviewing the Fishlight V25 video torch from Intova. This review is somewhat belated as I've had this torch now for two years. The light has seven modes, four white, two red and one SOS white strobe mode. The quota burn time is 50 minutes at 100% output. But I'll show you some tests that go beyond this limit. The light is made from aluminium and hard anodized black with a mechanical push button on top to turn the light on and cycle through the modes. It uses a 32650 lithium battery which takes a fair while to charge. The light has four white LEDs and two red LEDs and a YS mount. Unscrew the torch to insert the battery. The kit comes with two batteries. It's a very large battery and not very common. Insert the battery as shown on the diagram with the nipple facing out. Screw the torch back together and press the button five times to place it in standby mode. The LED around the button will indicate the battery charge, either green, amber or red. Single short presses won't activate the light. Press and hold down the button to activate it. Short button presses will toggle through the various modes. Press and hold the button to turn the light off. If you press and hold the button on after the light comes on, it will enter SOS strobe mode. There is a thumb bolt included to clamp onto the YS fitting. If you want to use the torch by hand, you can put a lanyard through the YS mount hole. Not sure what the feature on the end is. I purchased this YS ball mount to use with my RAM mount hardware. It comes with a battery charger, the LED goes red when you put a battery in the cradle. The wall adapter plugs into the cradle and the LED is green when charging. My charger has recently died but replacements are cheap. Looking at the battery drain, I got an hour and a half with the light on high, 100% output. Then it switched down to a lower output. The light output diminishes over time, but it is still very usable. On the low setting, 25% output of the white LED, burn time was 6 hours. This graph shows the output at high 100% output and low 25% output. Here is some footage of a reef using my ANO Technologies R105 dive torch. When I bring the V25 fish light in, you can see the reef is totally illuminated. You need to be relatively close for the light to be effective. As I move up and get further from the reef, Everything returns to a drab colour.
As we approach the J5 conning tower, we can see the yellow zoanthids get brighter and deeper in colour. You can also notice the aiming of my light is not 100% correct. The light is excellent for wrecks, easily illuminating close walls and darkened areas void of sunlight. This torch is no longer available, but is replaced by the Pro 6 Plus. I hope you've enjoyed this review.